Alright, uh, we are into the second half of the match. Alright, and if you notice, the video clip is a bit different. That's because my second half of the video crashed. And it was a whole video, 20 minutes long, but the second half crashed and I'm forced to you know, make the cut the, the video into two. Anyway, um, four manager, sorry. YouTube only allows 15 minutes of footage, so I have to cut it anyway. And oh, what a good, good attempt to make the goal! All right, and excuse me, I forgot to select the <laughs> screen here. You can't hear the sounds of the fans. And right now, we are going to have a corner. Mm. We're going to see if this corner is going to convert. And you can see that my players are doing very well to pressure and keep Southern at their own half. Alright, that's good because in, at half time uh, for team talks, I actually told them and, and encouraged them that they did it well because of the two goals uh, at the first half. And even before the match started, alright, I told them that I expected a win. So, um, in general, they respond better to um, encouragements than criticisms or pressure. Alright. They do not like that because most of the players have determination lower than 10 and so you gotta make do with it, alright? Adopt uh, and adapt to them. And right now we are having a throw in by one of the players here. Alright, and you can see that for the second half the rain is much stronger than the first half. I'm not so sure if weather plays a huge role. It actually does play a huge role, uh, but we are not seeing it on screen here at 43 engine, and so I guess that's something that Sports Interactive can work on. Right now, uh, Southern is going to have a throw in into their possession, alright? Bucket here, throwing to Hall, and oh, John Utaka, that's a bad foul. He actually slides him and slides his legs. And you can see that the physio here is wearing black. He looks no mu not much different from the referee. I'm not so sure why he's colored like that. And you can see the physio studying them like a guard. So funny. Like soldiers. And anyway, um, I guess they have nowhere to put the physios. Alright, Morris having the ball. Floating the ball into the front. Uh, but too bad it went too much front. And the there's none of Salvan's players there. And right now we are going for a counter attack. Dave Kisson, oh, alright, that ball just came to, uh, away from the top of the crossbar, close. And okay, Sifty, alright, I'm not so sure how, I, how to pronounce his name, so if I make a mistake, please forgive me. Now he's a youngster that I'm trying to train, and Kanu is right now in the game. I have subbed out Dave Kitson and Dave Nogan. Now, uh, there's a reason for that, because... Um, we are already 2 goals ahead at 70th minute, so we are left with 20 minutes of gameplay. And I am banking on the strong possession and defense of my team. So I actually substituted the strikers out that I may just train Kanu, and not, not say train Kanu, but just put him up for match practice and to train the youngster. Alright, and that's my tactics here. The brown is switched to the right. That's because um, John Utaka has a physical condition of 71% when I sub him out. And so one of the youngsters is also filling the hole, hole in the central midfield position. Alright. And oh, Hughes is going to get himself a yellow. Alright, for a bad tackle. I believe for a bad foul. I'm not so sure. Anyway, either one of them. And I'm always going to take the free kick. Alright. Yeah, so that's my substitution and um, I try to train my players as much as I can. I hope you do so <laughs> because I, it works. And oh, Kanu gives a good strike but Morris saves the ball and yes, we are going to have a corner. Alright, we are at the 78th minute going to the 79th minute of the game and I'm hoping that we can either extend our lead or hang on to our result. Either one will do fine. This is for the Culling Cup or for the League Cup for most of the FM series, alright? And so, we are going to have the corner and they are taking so long just to take one corner. Richie here crossing the ball and okay, good job by Morris. He claims the ball and intercepts the ball. And alright, now, oh, wow, good tackle by my youngster over there. 
But the possession is back to Southend and uh, they are trying to keep up the pace. Oh Gregory, my goodness. That was not a foul. I thought that he slid the legs, man. Alright. Oh, Southend, um, one of the players got themselves a yellow. Consider a very bad a free kick. I'm not so sure if, it's, if the guy can actually shoot from here. I guess it would be tough because the angle is a little tight. So he's opting for an indirect free kick, I suppose. Alright. Richie here. He crosses in and okay, nobody could connect with the ball. And so... Alright. Anthony Gran. Oh, he knocks Hughes down and Hughes is flawed to the ground. Goodness. Alright, when I first checked on him, he was at 49% physical condition. And I realized that, okay, I have no substitution for him. Not because I have only I used up all three. But also, I have no one to fill his role. Alright, seriously, there is no more central def uh, midfielders besides Michael Brown. And so, and of course the youngster. And so he will have to bear the pain for the last few minutes of the game. Alright, Richie here trying to find space to cross it into the box but he was denied by one of the defenders and right now we are going to have a corner. Alright, Richie throws the ball in and oh my goodness that was a bad cross because Morris has no trouble collecting the ball. Gregory here trying to find space and Richie, alright, oh goodness. Colson, he nearly shot and scored, but he seems to be deflected off, and right now we are going to have a corner. Alright, Richie is my set piece specialist, especially when Liam Lawrence is away for 4 to 5 months due to injury. He throws the ball in, and oh goodness, Hughes actually scored from the corner. Well done, and it was a poor set piece defending from Southern. He sh they should have marked everyone, but they seemingly missed out the injured player, Hughes. Alright, okay, my youth uh, youngster excuse me, tries to set up Hughes again, but Hughes couldn't get his shot down, and he blasted over the crossbar. Alright, we are three goals ahead of Southend, and I believe this game is for our taking, because we are into injury time. Already two minutes uh, of injury time, I suppose. Yep. I guess too many injuries uh, uh, for this half and so the time is extended and yes it's all over post move 3 south and 0 alright now if you like my videos please subscribe to my youtube channel at RTR Football Manager or you can visit my blog at footballmanagersite.com uh, football and another thing just to highlight to you something concerning my next game especially the official launch because the official launch is just due about a day or two, uh, depending on your time zone, is due uh, for me for a day. Yep, uh, let me just show you real quick. Alright, this is my website. Uh, yeah, cool picture. Anyway, uh, this is my website, and you can see that Post Move is now at 11 votes, Leeds United at 10, uh, Liverpool at 9. So, if you really want your team. To be featured in my blog and in my videos, please vote and I will manage them, especially when the official game is launched. Alright, Portsmouth is having the better of the lead. Uh, just a couple, couple of hours ago, they were tied with this United and I have some trouble making a decision, alright? And so just feel free to come to my site to, um, to vote. And the URL is again, fullmanagersite.com. Alright, that's all, and I'll see you for the next video.